What up, pups, and welcome back to book two of As Dusk Falls. Made it through the first three chapters. I believe we have three left. I don't think this is a terribly long game, and I'm not certain if we are making that full 30-year jump yet, or if we're still going to be working in the past. Because if you were along for the last three chapters, you know that chapter three ended quite shockingly. We think. We don't know. So I would say we're not quite done with the past yet. And if you didn't catch chapter three or any of the other chapters, make sure you check those out. There is a playlist linked above. But I will point out a few things that I noticed as I was editing. There is a lot going on with this story. There's a lot going on with Paul. I guess he's sort of like the maintenance man of the motel. With Jim, Vince's father. And possibly some kind of connection there. Paul seems to be connected maybe with Sharon. I think she used to own a bar. Like, everybody in this little town seems to know each other, but their relationships seem to go a little deeper than just acquaintances. I think Joyce's son might be Dante's kid. There, there definitely seems to be a lot of those little, those little moments where you don't... You don't necessarily pick up on them until after you watch and rewatch. So I would encourage you to do that. Again check out the playlist <laughs> see what you can point out see if i missed anything so we won't go through the entire timeline yet i imagine once we finish the game it should give us a uh the big picture and really see like what we did and all the opportunities we missed as you can tell there looks to be several so again we'll take a look at that once we end the game and really kind of dive deep in a good recap as to where we went wrong. Until then, let's play the rest of this game. But real quick, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you. We appreciate it. Before I started going to the pool... I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, it didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! was a getaway. Bad news. <sighs> Not quite sure how you're going to be getting away from that. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Whoever's piloting that helicopter must not be very good at their job. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> we're alive. That's something, at least. You get the we're dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere.
Oh, hell. Uh... Uh, uh, stop arguing. Guys, I don't think this is helping. Hey! <laughs> well, that backfired. Look, you got away. Can you let me go now? Shut up. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma! <laughs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left them. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on him. Jay, why don't you and Vince just take off and leave no, these two ass clowns to debate whatever they want to do? Hey, unlock the door. What? No, I can't. Come on, man, this could be my only chance. If Tyler sees you, he won't if you hurry. Come on, please. You are a big man. Do you really think you're going to be able to outrun? They're going to be pissed off at Jay. But you know what? They're just going to have to be pissed. Go quick, before they notice. Thank you. And, uh, hey. About Yellowstone? It's fine. I know I'm never going. Never say never. Okay? Maybe there's a prison at Yellowstone. What the? Are you nuts? They'll hear it for miles. How'd he get the door open, huh? Tyler, it's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. So, are we done with this family now? You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're what the hell? <laughs> well, that takes care of that problem. What is happening in this game? What is happening? Uh, the door's stuck. I can't get him out. He's going to die in there. And this family is just dropping like flies. Hey, you hear that? They straight up left Jay to die. Uh. What are we doing here? Um, search under the seat, open the door. Well, they already said that they couldn't get the door open. Is there anything with the windshield? No. Those are our only two. Oh. Try seatbelt. Well, you probably do need to undo your seatbelt. Okay, well, then we're going to have to search under the seat for something to cut the seatbelt. Or eat. Eating's good, too. I don't know how we're going to open the door if we're trapped by the seatbelt. What am I missing? What am I missing? 
Search glove box. Come on. Come on now. Dude, you're almost there. Ma! Tyler! Hey, I think I saw someone run. See Spider-Man in it. <laughs> Almost. I am tired of seeing Pappy Holt. You hey. Let's go out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Well, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. I, I think I need water. Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name, Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... Uh... uh... Uh, uh, courage, honor, and strength. His almost superhuman strength. And this is the story of his quest. No! So Ash is Joyce's son, who I suspect is... Dante's son as well. Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh... Like... Burn it down. Uh, watch the stars. We could sit under the night sky and look for shooting stars. Just me and you. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I... Because I've... you're busy! Like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right. If you say so. Whatever. Uh. 
Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. I like Paul. I hope nothing bad happens to Paul. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Not a chance in hell. I'm just riding my bike in the middle of the desert. Uh-oh. Thunderstorms ahead. Climbing to 30,000 feet. Some piloting skills. And now the quest continues on foot. Huh. So I take it the fort is the Holt cabin. No, this this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Don't tell me this kid is lost in the woods now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. Uh -uh. I mean, the kid's hungry. Eat. the werewolves from the quarry. Oh, hell. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's the wild boars from the quarry. I don't think you're going to be able to speak calmly to um, a wild animal like that. Maybe act scary? Running? I don't know. Hmm. Let's act scary. I think if we run, we're just going to get, like, further lost. Oh, Bebop's not having that. The important thing is he stood his ground. And I'm guessing he just found the fort. I hope by the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way. Now that is not the cabin that Jade is at. Unless that's a mirage. Gotta get water. Gotta get warm. I'll get some damn water then, kid.
Do you want a beer? I'd eat my own arm right now. Oh, man. What did he just eat? Please let there be a medicine cabinet. I'd be more concerned that there's a fire going, which means someone has recently been here and will likely be coming back very soon. Hurry it up! If they're not already somewhere in this house. Abdominal pad. Painkillers and cough medicine. Band-aid. And go ahead and take those painkillers too. You never know when you might need one. That's Pappy Holt. Shit. 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 Agent Bradley? What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Holt. The Holtz. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are. Big Oak Neighborhood, Two Rock. Huh? Where did he end up? Is that? That kind of looks like it could be Joyce as a child, doesn't it? We can't search the bookcase for a hidden safe now. Ridgely Catholic School Office of the Dean. Dear Mr. Dorland, Vanessa was caught smoking again this week. If it happens again, she'll be suspended. Also, please remind her that all t-shirts, especially those with explicit language or that take the Lord's name in vain, are strictly forbidden. My tolerance for her situation only goes so far. Regards, Evan Brown, Dean of School. So this is the Dorland house? And I guess that little girl was the daughter of Vanessa. That's the Woodman's Cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I... Uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. We're good. No. We're good. Uh, 
We'll just say not necessary. I'm not that hurt. I mean, not hospital hurt. You could be. You should get checked out. I'm not, though. <laughs> I swear. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. <laughs> I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> That's hot. Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah. I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but what was your excuse? Uh, uh... Got tired of getting D's? It's better than F's, isn't it? You get F's if you don't try. D means you tried and you failed. See? Much better. BB! Where's my sandwich? I'll be right there! Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? Yeah, I mean, I'd take something to nosh. You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed. Three more are still on the loose. Are you okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who um, had a prior conviction for assault. We'll leave it on. It's going to draw too much suspicion. Plus, we've already told her our name is Dean. Members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on. I know that voice. Huh? Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Matty? Sure. Yeah, now it's... Now it's Maddie. We'll play along. Uh, hi, Mima. I missed you. My grandbaby. Where have you been all this time? What is wrong with her eyes? I was, um... On an exchange program, living with another family. Here, let me help. So, Matt, when you were with that other family, what did you do all day? I'm just curious, since you weren't at school and all. Shoot and rob cops. Just do chores, mostly. Take care of the yard. If my brothers, I mean, my friends, if they're home, maybe we go to the dump and find something we can fix, you know? <laughs> sure. Who doesn't chill at the dump? Matthew, you're going to get an earful from your father being away from home for so long. Why would you even say that? Do you know how much hell your father's been through losing your mother? The two of you don't understand what it's like for him. Could you try not taking his side for once? 
I'm going to go listen to murder, she wrote. Welcome home, Maddie. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license. She knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt. Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. Oh. And we have the same voice or something? He was soft-spoken, like you. People thought he didn't have anything to say, but usually he just wasn't saying it. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. He was kind of a dick, though. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. Oh, damn Sorry. it. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just a plate. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. Uh... I mean, I feel like Dale did look out for him. He was always trying to protect me from things. Mm -hmm. From our older brother, from Pa, when he was on a bender. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? At this point, you might as well tell her that, uh... Mm. We're already being honest about everything else. He hung himself. Or tried to. I stopped him. Jesus, Dean. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but... Sometimes I wish my dad would die or whatever. Come on. God. You don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Um, I wouldn't give her any ideas. Hey, I hate my family sometimes too. If it ain't my pa drunk or my brother's picking on me, it's everyone just mad at each other for no reason. See? You get it. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <sighs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Minnesota? Nope. Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't... president signed the 1906 uh... Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Are they going to make us answer this? I think I saw this on TV. I think it was Roosevelt. Um, I think it's Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? Oh, no. Uh, I, uh, I, mm. Uh, what's his name? FDR? Close, but no cigar. <sighs> the correct it. answer is... Teddy Roosevelt. Oh. And I am officially gonna fail. 
So? You don't need some test to know that you're... You're smart, and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. What was sweet? Shit! He's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, dickbag father. Hello, sir. He even looks like a jerk. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Huh? Bridgely, right? It's Bridgely, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Bridgely School. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. Fine. But you didn't ask permission. Well, you weren't around to ask. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right. On the radio earlier. Uh... Uh... What happened? Let's see what he knows. What happened? Do you know? Apparently, three brothers botched a robbery and took over a motel. <laughs> Things got pretty nasty. Well, is it over? Not quite. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Mm. I need your help with something. Get back to the study. And next time, you ask before you bring a stranger in the house. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. You can't. Not yet. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on. It's probably in the bathroom. I think we need to bolt. Yeah, we're not going to be stopped. We need to go. Are we locked in? No. Dean? God. Uh, hide in the closet. Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Jay? We're in the pantry, aren't we? Damn it. I'll do it myself. Uh. Son of a bitch! Uh, uh. Come here. Oh, come on now. What the fuck are you doing here? God, dude, I... it's a Speak child. Up. I'm lost. That's all, dude. I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. And you just happened to stumble across my cabin. Oh. How'd you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? Dude, this guy is paranoid as fuck. I swear, I didn't hear about it. 
You look a little young to be working for those assholes. But something tells me you ain't being straight with me. I am being straight. I am being straight. I promise. Nobody told me about this place. That's right. Because it don't exist. Oh. I reckon there's only one reason you came here. And that's to steal my stuff. <coughs> Are you flipping kidding me? I was just looking. But I didn't take anything. Looking, snooping, it's all the same thing. Where are you from? Uh, well, well, my mom is half Diné, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. <laughs> Never mind. And this mom of yours, does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? Hmm. Certainly not gonna say the third You're... option. Cut his throat? You think I... Two things you ought to know about me. One, I ain't no child killer. And two, I believe there's no greater shame than a boy stealing from his own father. That's right. Flesh and blood he was. My own son. Eldest of three. And those boys all know better than to go messing with my stuff. You know why? Oh, they don't love him. Because they're scared of being punished? Now, hold on. I teach them discipline and respect. They gotta learn to be men. Didn't your dad teach you nothing? I... I haven't got a dad. What? He dead or something? No. But Mom never talks about him. Huh? Why? I don't know. Maybe he broke her heart. All I know is <sighs> he left us with nothing. And now she's the one left picking up the pieces. Listen, any asshole with a pair of balls and a prick can be a father. Sounds to me you're better off without him. But just because he walked out on your mama, it doesn't give you license to do the same. You ungrateful little... Hey, Pa, you in there? So, listen good, Goldilocks. I'm gonna cut you loose. And you better run straight home before I change my mind. Uh. But don't you go telling a soul about this place. You never saw it, you hear? It don't exist. Now run, me, Paul. Uh. Sure thing, crazy eyes. And did he call us Meatball? Faster! Before I change my mind! Pa, oh, what are you shooting at? Yes! Yes! A road! Oh, this dumb kid. Is he dead? <laughs> Did we not hear his damn neck snap? Uh, don't be broken. Don't be broken. Ooh! Ah! Even I can Mom. tell. That's fucked up. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home. Hasn't he already spent, like, a night out here? And nobody's looking for him? 
Maybe Joyce is kind uh, of a shitty mom. Uh, adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. That's today. Oh, Mom. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh man, I really, really don't feel good. I wouldn't have left your backpack down there though. Sheriff's Department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was... <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? Uh... I mean, I kind of want to see the whole family taken down. We're gonna squeal like that wild boar in the woods. It was... There was a cabin. I... I saw... I saw a man. A, a poacher, I think. Poachers. Damn he, poachers. Okay, Ash. Okay. We'll check it out. It's all right. It's all right, son. <laughs> You're safe now. Ash? Ash! Easy, easy. Hey, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. Okay. So yeah, definitely Dante's kid. See what they have to say for themselves. When I got out of the car, you weren't there. Oh. I thought I was... I thought that was it. It was that freaking helicopter. We circled back, but the cops were... I can't believe you survived. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? Ah. <sighs> Fine. I got yours too. You're my brother. Good. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Oh, 
while you sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Canav. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey! That son of a bitch! You think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. Uh, I'm not going anywhere with that dude. No, dude, I... I'll stay. Whatever. Give me some I'm money. I'll go with you anyway. <sighs> what kind of person abandons his own brother? The kind who's sick of you always acting like you got someplace better to be. Well, maybe I wouldn't if you were nicer to me. <laughs> Come on. You've been that way since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom! Should've done us a favor! Tyler! Enough! Oh, shit! What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. The hell it does? What? It matters to me. Who is my real mom? My younger sister, Brooke. She died giving birth to you. You had a sister? Who is my father? You don't have one. Well, now that's impossible. <laughs> Get him! Get him, Jay! Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. Shh! Listen! Oh, y'all are fucked now. I swear. Oh, damn, it is the cops. Jay, you better get the hell out of there. This is the FBI, and you need to stand down. I'm trying to bring you in alive. I'm sure you thought you were safe out here. Off the grid and all. But some kid reported this place months ago. So be good sports and drop those weapons, okay? I'm not doing it, Ma. I can't go to prison. You are too pretty for prison, Me yeah. Neither. She could run some shit in prison, though. I believe that. Um. I mean, they're ready to abandon me. But I feel like Jay would still be the bigger person. Plus, technically, it's only 
Tyler that wants to abandon him. Uh, I hope this doesn't end badly for us. Let's do this. Oh, you dumbass! Son of a... That a boy. Well, Jay, you pretty much just have to yourself. <laughs> Real good. You are a terrible shot. Oh no. Folks, please. You can't win this. Come on out, okay? What about the crawl space? We can get under the deck. Maybe they won't see us leave. I don't know, Ma. Try to flee. Come on, you gotta try. I'll cover you. You first. Oh. Tyler! Oh, come on. Well. Bye. Check over there. The dogs got something. Oh, there are dogs. Do you see him? He's not here. Let's check downhill. Put your hands in the air, okay? Oh, hell. I don't want to hurt you. Please. You don't need to shoot. You're under arrest for... Well... More crimes than I can name. If you try to resist, I will use deadly force. Now, I want you to slowly lie down, arms over here. If you try to, you know, make any sudden moves. Oh, at least it's not on a timer. We're not going to shoot a cop. I don't think Jay has killed anyone yet. I mean, I think he did shoot that one cop in the leg. But he's not a murderer. We're just going to surrender. 
That's right. Just like that. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before we ask you questions. You cannot afford a lawyer, one can be appointed. You have the right to stop answering anything. Well, I don't think any of our questions have been answered yet. Just more, more questions. Who is Jay's dad? I mean, is it someone we know? Is it, does it matter? I'm almost positive Dante is Ash's dad. That's that little secret there between Joyce and them. Could Paul be his dad? Paul used to drink at Sharon's bar. And I'm assuming it's the same Sharon, because they know each other. I mean, would it make sense for her sister to also work there or hang out there? And Paul was drinking a lot back then. Huh. And of course, now we don't really know what happened to Vince, assuming he's fine, and how all of this is going to play out in the future. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to keep playing. And that's exactly what we're going to do next time. So sorry. Got to leave you for now, but we'll be playing more, wrapping up this game very soon. If the first half of the game is any indication, we should have about two chapters left. And we'll be getting through those very quickly. So to make sure you do not miss the next video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell to let you know when the next chapter drops. Comment down below what you think of the game. Let us know how we're doing. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll do it all again soon. Later.